afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking, and today we will try uh, first crude attempts of this NASA's pendulum test. Okay, so we put a device which seems to be inertial propulsive on a pendulum. It is a long swings, not so long, only two meters and uh, 20 centimeters. As you can see here above, I've stopped the rotating movement so it stays stable. Okay, but it can move back and forth like this. Okay. Now the big question was how to make the initial system. As you can see here, I have put a pointer, and this pointer is in the middle of this rim. It's exactly the same diameter as this one. So the idea is to see as the gyro should push in that direction, if the pointer goes more that way or that way or what it will do. Okay, so the problem was the following. You have to remember how works this system. It is Fiala's system. So what happened it is two strokes. Each time the gyro make a rotation, on 180 degrees it will be you see the gyro here, the motor, and the traction wheel. When the gyro is here, the traction wheel is in full contact with the track. You see the track here. Okay, so the gyro tried to raise and press, but it cannot because there is an axle here maintained by this center pivot. Okay, so it cannot press. So it exhibits full inertia, as Mr. Fiala says, and I would say it is, a, uh, I have heard this on another forum, I will explain on the explanation after, uh, the Newtonian stroke. It is a standard dead mass, as if it is not spinning. Okay, so it exhibits full inertia, full weight, and everything. Then, when the gyro makes uh, another uh, 180 degrees, the traction wheel is no more in contact with the track. So it will fall down and the gyro can now process, it can levitate, levitate, which is a bad word, it will process and, and raise up. Okay. So in this situation, it exhibits very less inertia. This is Mr. Fiala says this in this patent. So this is this gyro dynamic stroke. So on this part here, it is the full inertia and it is a motorizing stroke. It is what makes the system move, translate. And on this other part here, when the gyro is levitating, it exhibits no, no more inertia. It is a recoil stroke, so there is no counter reaction. Full reaction, no counter reaction, or almost. What is written here, as you can see. So to me, to make the origin or the center of the pointer, these small things here, I think we have to put the gyro in his motorizing position. So the center of mass between all the, the devices and the gyro is between the gyro and the center pivot, to me, I think. Okay, and not at this point, or not in the middle here, because in this point, the gyro seems not to wait, to, to, to have any weight. But there, it is full weight, full inertia, full everything, totally Newton. Okay, <clears throat> I tried not to shock too much people here. Okay, so, it is what I have done now. I have put the gyro, as you can see here, on the part where it exhibits the most uh, motorizing situation. Okay, perhaps it is wrong, I don't know. And I'd... Okay, so as you can see here, the pointer is exactly in the middle of the rim here. All right, okay, now I will let the gyro spin to see what happens. Try not to move too much. Okay. We have, to wait some, we have to wait some time now because everything must stabilize.
We wait some time. It is very difficult to say anything now because you see the strong wobbling of the rim. Very, it's very bad for a, a good uh, motorization uh, action. And he spins somehow. We will wait until he stabilizes. But so far, it goes uh, somehow difficult to say. We'll wait. Okay, and you understand very well now. That on this motor inside, if it wobbles too much, the traction wheel is not much flat and it can wobble uh, uh, also and let the gyro make some small precision. This is why these pendulum systems are really bad for this kind of, of uh, system. Okay, now it seems to be some more stabilized. Well, it's very difficult to say. It seems that it is there's some more outside. Yes, it could be more outside than inside. But a lot of wobbling and uh, we'll wait some time. You see, it seems that it makes uh, two pendulum systems. Big one and then smaller one. Big, big one now and smaller one. Bigger one, smaller one. Difficult to say. Okay, I think to me anyway, uh, the best test with this machine is anyway this flat fiala is a, a test on the marbles. It is a part eight of my video because there is no discussion and the. And everything happen on a flat ground, not on a wobbling system. I don't know what we can... I don't claim anything on this test. Perhaps it is positive or not, I don't know. Very difficult to say. I think, uh, anyway, for this kind of test, we should have uh, uh, four gyros, all in uh, symmetry, perfectly synchronized as Eric Lightweight uh, making this patent. Okay, I show you this because uh, some people ask me if I could make something. Okay, it is a small test. Ah, it seems uh, it could be test more outside than inside. But it is, the lines are very short, only two meters and something. And it is only uh, one gyro, it is very difficult to say. Uh, I wanted to make a roller, but uh, I dismantled my roller system, which was on part 10 video, because the uh, transmission broke and uh, I tried another system. And we redo all this. Okay. And uh, now it is well stabilized. Uh, Yes, perhaps seems to be something more outside, but uh, I don't claim anything on this uh, test. I let you the judge of the test. Okay. Thanks for watching and good afternoon at all.